and welcome to episode 74 of Youth Squad Legends with Crew Alexandra. So this one's going to be a quick episode, three games in it, Leeds United, Tottenham Hotspur and right at the start of January, Sunderland. Now we're going to give ourselves a little bit of time in January for the fanning frenzy to make him at least an exciting prospect, hopefully a potential to be special player. Would be nice if he creeped over 10 minutes for you guys. Let's see what happens in these three games. Is that our Amio? I'm sure this is the Amio that we took from the free agents list. If it is, then he's grown to a 76. He's now 21 years old. He's looking excellent. Almost a full regen midfield. We've already seen Amio, Mitrovic on the left and Maloney on the right. I've got Fornazier in the first team, even though his stamina is terrible. They do have a centre back on the bench. The best centre back that I could put on the bench. And he's 66 overall. So that's going to be fun if he comes on. It's Crew Alexandra against Leeds United. It's hard to believe that this is a fixture from the top flight, but the graphics confirm it. Come on, Papa. Don't stick a leg in. Papa baby waiting for the support from Pio. Pio's made the forward run here, but will be squeezy to take the ball forward. He plays it back. Now it's even further back towards here's Romero. Poor pass there by Paul. Payor still has it. Plays it into Otias Romero. That should have been a goal. In fact, it was shot straight at the goalkeeper's foot. Good. Go on. Yes. Oh! Wonderful work there by Payor to just clip it into the space Ryan McEachran ran into. Oh! We hit the corner flag! Yeah! To say that Ryan McEachran is a big beanstalk of a player, he doesn't win that many headers. Still very early in the development, he's got incredible potential. I know a lot of people don't like him at the moment, but just be patient with him. We have to be patient in this series. Gonna send it out wide to Tremblay. That is an excellent ball there by Papa Baby. And Tremblay's on his way. And Tremblay's got a good chance here to make the goal. Bike heel to Squeezy. Excellent idea. Tremblay flick up will be too... Oh, easy. Easy penalty there. McEachran collected the ball from the Tremblay flick up. Leeds United been dirty once again. Be nice to see Squeezy bag a goal. It's been a while. There we go. 1-0 Crew Alexandra. Squeezy flying out the traps. The start of the second half. He's actually won that ball fairly into Papa Baby. <sighs> Donald Fanning's got a lot of work to do, and he's done it superbly to touch that ball as it's delivered in. And luckily enough, it's gone straight into the hands of Muller. Hard work was done, though. Just needed a bit of luck. Payor, still waiting for an opportunity to unleash his long shots. Maybe this is the time! Well, the goalkeeper was outstretched, dive into the bottom corner. Our last game was only a short time ago. That's the reason why Bonaventura was on the bench to start this match. But for the last 30 minutes, he's here, hopefully to make an impact. It's only 1-0 as well. With Leeds United going on to the attack. If they score this, which they have, Seco Brilliant's first touch. You know what? We do have to have this silly first touch control error a ridiculous amount because of how bad the difficulty is. Sometimes... When you see things like that, and we had something very similar last episode. It really gets on your nerves. I try not to be angry. 1-0, even though they've not been in the game. Bonaventura, oh my goodness, they are going in hard on Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Oh, that is what absolute filth what he just did to that defender. Shame that he couldn't find space for the shot. Come on, Squeezy. Find something. I know he's got it in him. Otias Romero! Oh, drags it across. You're trying to defend to the best of your abilities. And then a very awkward flick up from one of your players. And it's there on a plate. We've drawn it one all. Not bad player here for Spurs. Knocked Kyle Walker out that right back spot. Gonzalez right back at 78. The second game of the episode, it's Tottenham Hotspur against Crew Alexandra. Seco Brilliant picks off Christian Eriksen and he bombs forward with Malachias Jr. there and he's trying to play! Oh! Oh what an assist! Oh Bonaventura 
has scored the first goal of the game. But Malachi is junior. You are beautiful. Everything about that move was pretty spectacular. Egbe can sense something. He senses Son just passing him with ease. And there's someone. Oh, out wide. Unmarked. Arias has done a great job getting the ball there. He's offside as well. Got a Ventura. What's he got? Oh, here we go. Here we go. How lucky is that? It fell to number 37. Geronimo played it across goal. And McEachran can't miss that one. Bonaventura's shot turned into a wonderful pass towards Geronimo. Well worked goal in the end. Come on, Bonaventura. He has been phenomenal. Bonaventura finds a third goal for Crow Alexandra. And we're not even done with the first half. Elliot Wharton sitting on the sidelines, realising he's got work to do if he's to get that golden boot. Is Bonaventura again for the hat trick? He's in the box and he's... Oh, he tried the Wharton chip. Nearly beat Oblak. Clipped the bar. Malachi... Okay, maybe not Malachi as junior. Now is the time. Plays it into Uche Rubio. Just so fluid. The forwards today have been quite decent. Malachi as junior. Wonderful work. Really, really impressive today. And Geronimo is here. He plays it back to Uche Rubio. Ugh, can't find a forward in the box. What a shame. We just made White Hart Lane look like a very, very easy place to come. When in real life, it's a lot more difficult than what we've just made it out to be. Top goal scorers so far. Bonaventura on 11. Wharton on 10. It's super close at the top. Start of January. Donald Fanning is already on the loan list. Interestingly, Muller is transfer listed. I don't think it's going to be a massive problem because his overall is low compared to some of the incredible players that are brought into this club. You might know that Payar has the potential to be special, but interestingly, he's not the only one. We have three other players that have the potential to be special. Dennis Zimmerman, who came out of the Youth Academy. Geronimo Regen of Cristiano Ronaldo and probably the most interesting of the lot, Jake Westwood. Potential to be special, Irish sentiment. I didn't expect this. I knew that he had some decent stats in the free agents list, but seeing that status, that makes me very pleased. Rico Gonzalez is back at crew. It's just a shame that he's not wearing the crew shirt. We're at home against Sunderland. Oh, this is the early chance for Rico Gonzalez. He's made his mark against his former team. Shocking start from Crow Alexandra. Might be tired, but even so, that's bad defending. Gandhi, yeah, hits it. Oh, Tori Homoya, full force into someone's nuts. Oh, it's dropped for Elliot Wharton. It's one all. Get in, and Wharton levels it up with Bonaventura. And now they're on 11 goals each, I think. The luck wasn't there in the first match, but since then. We've been very fortunate with the goals that we've scored. The search for effective wingers goes on. Pella Every, I like. Taroda, he's not a winger, but he does a job in them uh, positions. And Geronimo seems decent. But Gandhi, who I expected was going to be absolutely class as Paul makes the goalkeeper, Jordan Pickford. And we are now leading. One goal, two goals, three goals for Wharton. Doesn't matter how he scores them. Left or right, it is no problem for Elliot Wharton. Crystal Palace is the FA Cup fixture. We've got Chelsea in the semi-finals of the EFL Cup, by the way. I'm sure you want to know that. that. Ball was not for Silvestri. Look at this now. Sunderland got a great chance to level this up. Macias collects the ball, looks up. Sees Dennis Zimmerman in the orange boots and decides to pass it just straight past him and into the feet of a Sunderland player. Eventually, they go on and score the goal. Over the course of this episode, it has leveled itself out. They've scored two goals that shouldn't have happened. We've scored two goals that shouldn't have happened. But over the course of the whole series, oh, we're well behind. The human is well behind compared to the computer. Elliot Walton prepared to take on player after player and squeezy well he's found the path at least he's got that still in his locker great finish by squeezy 
Ugo, Ugo, Ugo. Show me more in this episode than he's done for a long, long time. And he's coming up to January and he's saying, look, boss, just give me another chance. Do not sell me. Don't think I am, you know. I'm just going to stick with this team and we'll see what we do through the season. Hull's very central here. It's left a man wide. Oh, they've gone the other way. Look at this. Sunderland have equalised. Two points dropped for Crew Alexandro. This one should have been in the bag. But it slipped through our fingers not once, but twice. So this has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. And I will see you next time.